Talking tunes, and we're here once again with with uh, the one, the only Tracy Lorenz. I got to tell you, Tracy, before you say anything, um, you didn't get the thousand hits, but you got about seventy one within two days. That's not bad. I rounded up. <laughs> 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 so I figure, hey, 71 is better than uh, what I usually get, which is about 10. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. A week's worth. A week's worth. Right there. I, you know, the, the, the one thing I wanted to ask you about first, because, you know, there's a lot of little things that you're doing that I, we got to talk about. But the first thing I want to talk about is your, your site, which you call... I don't know, it's a hate site, but what is it called? The hate group site? The, the group, the group who hates groups. The group who hates groups, now, which I'm part of the, the group, yeah. but uh, I usually just sit back and watch and listen. But the, the one response you made just the other day that, that just floored me, I, I don't know, it was something about uh, somebody asked the question of in 10 years from now or 30 years from now, what are you going to miss the most? And you put, you put Kmart. <laughs> I just. Kmart. I lost it. I don't know why, but who would not miss Kmart? Yeah, I, 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 I miss Kmart already. I mean, I come miss on. their uh, submarine sandwiches. Oh yeah, yeah, their submarine <laughs> sandwich and the big and the big pickle for a buck. I mean, come on. But yeah, yeah. Cre- Kreskies and Kmart's, man, I miss them. And the uh, terribly. The used underwear bin. Yeah, yeah. Always, always popular. We don't. <laughs> I grow. You know, when you when you say Kmart too, you got to remember. You know, growing up in the Detroit area that I did, my mom lived at Kmart. I mean, that's where yeah, all my clothes huge. came from. You know, the pretend so the corporate headquarters are. Yeah. <laughs> the corporate headquarters are in um, Rochester Hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe. I don't know. I, well, the Kmart there is gone though too. But yeah. But I mean, I think they're all gone. Yeah. But I mean, you know, where could you get classic plastic boots, cowboy boots? You know. Oh and, yeah. And, yeah. And the, the back in the seventies when you had the the cuff jeans, the bell bottom jeans, and the cuffs yeah. were sewn in, they weren't real actual cuffs. I mean, <laughs> come on, only Kmart you could get that stuff. The blue light. The blue light special. Yeah. 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 So anyway, yeah. So I, I mean, when you said that, that it floored me just because it brought back way too many memories. <laughs> well, the one in Grand Haven when it closed down years ago, they said, "Okay, we're closing down. Everything's ninety percent off." And the next day, it's eighty percent, and it went down ten percent every day until everything was gone. <laughs> so on day one, I went and hit a bunch of stuff. You know, underneath yeah. big piles of clothes, and then I went back and got it at ten percent. <laughs> you you so hit it. That yeah, I like took a you know baseball glove and hit it under a big pile of clothes, and <laughs> went back a week later and got it for five bucks. So, yeah, otherwise I was not a big uh, Kmart shopper, but the one in Grand Haven, you know, I miss it now. Yeah, see, I was a big I was a big Kmart shopper guy. That's where I got all my eight got all my eight tracks and you know all that good stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you just know you're in for a shopping experience when you walk in and smell popcorn. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's going to be a treat. And, you know, they, yeah. they they were really good subs. I mean, they were made with the worst meat possible, but they were really good. <laughs> there, was, there was no expiration date. Yeah. They, they probably still buy a warehouse somewhere back with them. <laughs> Don't want them out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Kmart, just uh, just good memories, good memories. <laughs> So anyway, your hate site, let's uh, yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. How, well, you, see, you just started that, it. Why? Yeah. Well, it wasn't even supposed to be a thing. Just one Saturday morning, I was sitting here, and I, I kept getting requests to be a member of groups, like the group that hates quarantines, and I just met the group in favor of quarantines, and then, like, the bird-watching group, and just group after group after group. So I started a, I just found and hit add group, and I just put down the group that hates groups, and that was just one guy, just me, and then... uh Two weeks later, there's like a thousand people on there. Yeah, and there is too. I think, yeah. I think uh, 70, 70,000 posts so far. Yeah. So yeah, people hate stuff. We know it's, it's not put- like, <laughs> and it's a it's a broad range you know, of the things that they're hating. So yeah, it's like, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's a little bit too serious. I think, but yeah. 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 Sometimes those get just eliminated yeah well you know just like i say i was why i was looking at the, the one about when you met you mentioned kmart and there had to been had to been at least 30 or 40 comments after that you know right. and it's still going yeah yeah and every time i think it's going to end it just you know the next time it's another 50 people and there another thousand posts and I don't 
It's... Wasn't supposed to. Wasn't supposed to happen. It was just sort of a joke, and then next thing you know, it's a good job. You seem to be good at that. You know, starting something and it just kind of <laughs> grows. So. <laughs> Totally Especially when it comes around H or something. I don't know what yeah, that is. Yeah, because uh, yeah, everybody, uh, you know, they always say, are we a member of a hate group now? Well, technically, but we just hate a broad range of things. <laughs> I don't hate people, well, no. some people, but, you know, yeah, yeah, it's a... There was nothing like it on Facebook that I could see where... No, no. It's a place to go off for everybody who hates stuff. <laughs> I hate, you know... The show up on Discovery Channel, we never discover anything. You know, just yeah. there's, a, there's a list of things that people hate. So yeah, yeah I could. I you know that's why I say I just kind of sat back and watched because I really couldn't think of anything I hated that much. But you know, but mm. I hate when mm. I stub my toe. I mean, would if that dug, would that go anywhere? <laughs> yeah, but other people hate when you stub your toe too. Yeah, you yeah. all feel sorry for Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you probably get a lot of likes. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, like I say, it was just that that one comment that the guy made, and and whoop, what like I say, you put that one that stuck out. Made my day. <laughs> it made my day. <laughs> of all the stupid things, yeah. all my brilliant posts, and that's the one that sticks. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that was just one. I'm not saying that can, uh, that's the only one. <laughs> if I can touch but one life, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Then yeah. my then my job is done. It's all been right. worth it <laughs> for the big K. Now, I guess I guess the big thing to talk about <laughs> is you lost your you lost your job writing again. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Add that one to the list. Well, uh, supposedly it's just uh, you know we're going to bring it back when things clear up, but somehow I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But yeah, I got uh, as I was writing my column last Thursday, I got an email from the publisher in Detroit saying, you know, hold off because. Uh, we're getting rid of everybody. Everybody's on furlough until this thing's over, and then we'll, you know, re-examine when when we're back to normal, whenever that'll be. But yeah, so for the first time in, in uh, one thousand two hundred and seventeen weeks, I didn't write a column. Huh? My streak was broken. Yeah. Twelve seventeen. Well, you know, you could but, you can always you know, can always we can always do a weekly thing where you could do a column on the radio. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, well, well, you don't get paid I for say, it, but you know. I, say, I should say the word pay because he said, you know, he said if you want to keep writing, you can write it, but I'm not going to pay you. Yeah, you know, right. I hate to establish that precedent. Yeah, because you can write it on Facebook, and I'm sure you get, you know, a thousand people just hitting on that, but, you know, it would be right. for free. So, yeah. Um, of course, you could always do it. We could always, you know, put it on YouTube, and then, you know, you get so many, you get two million hits, then you might make like 30, 40 bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my, that's my new business plan. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good to one. A it sounds kind of like Kmart. On YouTube, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of Kmart. And, well, so technically, anyway, you didn't really yeah, lose your job, though. No. It's just uh, the, the streak was broken. That was the disheartening part. Yeah. Because yeah. no matter what in your life, every every week, no matter what, I had that. So yeah. People came and go, dogs came and went. And, yeah. But that never changed for yeah. 23 years. Every week I pounded out 750 words. What about... So it's kind of weird not to think about that. What about, like, the examiner or something? Then you you don't write for that then either, then? Is that part of the, the whole that's, thing? That's part of the, part of the whole thing. Oh, okay. The Detroit right. Legal News owns all the papers, so... All right. Yeah, it's the only time they've ever talked to me. Huh. Was one email. I mean, because I just sent the stuff in and never really talked to anybody. And, yeah. Yeah, so I got an email saying, stop it. <laughs> huh. Stop it. Stop I mean, you would, you you would think they want to they want to put especially with your stuff because you don't really sit there and talk about the coronavirus. You your your columns are no. about just fun Stupid. stuff. Crap. Yeah. Crap. Yeah. Stupid. Kmart. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it started out. I don't know if I ever told you. It was started out was supposed to be a uh, column about uh, Muskegon nightlife. Okay. That's what they hired me for, and I think well, I lasted about two weeks. Yeah. So. You know, so the, the first time I said, what do you want to know about the site of Mosquito Man? The first time I did, I went to uh, Old Country Buffet and wrote about that. <laughs> and then it kind of, <laughs> I think they got the idea, okay, he's not really going to write about night life. <laughs> so, and then every time I read a column, they'd come and tell me, okay, you can't write about that anymore. 
<laughs> so, you know, you can't write about movies. You can't write about individuals. You can't write about sports teams. It's like every week they're putting more limitations on. So in the end, <laughs> it was just I wrote a lot about me because that's the only thing they let me write about. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, I, 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 you got to give me a line on the Old Country Buffet. <laughs> Nightlife at uh, Old Country you know, Buffet. It was, it was just because I'd never really been there before. And um, there was a guy there, and he was really large, and he's just pounding down the food. And then he announces that it was the four year anniversary of having his colon removed. <laughs> wow. They came here for like a party. And then there's a lady, another lady who, she must weigh like four units, and she's sitting there. She's at one table, and her family's at the other table, and it appeared their only job was to bring her food. And they're doing trays, <laughs> trays of food and just slide them in front of her. And there's like a chickpea stuck to the ceiling because it's a giant salad. And this is, this is no kidding. You know how they got the guy there who slices the meat? Yeah. Yeah, and he like, like with a big chef hat, he like slices off a little piece of meat and just goes, flick, and flicks it like a dog, and she catches it on her plate. <laughs> I'm like, holy, what am I missing in my life? And, this, I and, come. and the place didn't survive. Go figure. No, and that was just one trip. Well, it, the reason that it survived was it was the most expensive one in the country. Oh, yeah. Because they were losing money because people ate so much. Yeah, yeah. Here, that some they big people. I told them you got to weigh them when they come in and weigh them when they leave and just charge them, you know. No yeah. bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> no bathrooms. Yeah. No bathrooms. I gotta, I w- that would be the cho- worst job. Wouldn't it be the worst job of all to be a, a, a bathroom cleaner at the Old Country Buffet? Old Country Buffet. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's about <laughs> that's like a, you get sentenced to that job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not going to prison. You're going to Old Country Buffet to clean their bathrooms. Yeah, yeah the OCB. That was because um, I remember I got in between the lady who was going full speed and the soft serve ice cream machine. And I thought she was going to take me out. <laughs> there was no, she had momentum. There was a lot of, there was a lot of moving parts yeah, was coming yeah. at me. And I'm like, I had to go away. <laughs> get, get out of the way. Yeah. It was quite, it was quite an adventure. Yeah. You, pay, and that was uh town number one. You remember the old, the old Ponderosa, right? The, when they said the Ponderosa. I over love there. Ponderosa. Yeah. Yeah. Have one in Lovington. Every time I go to Lovington, I go yeah, to Yeah. That's Ponderosa. where I go there too. Yeah. Yeah. But my that, kids, my, my 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 kids, when they were young, I used, that was like the big time we went out out to dinner was uh, was you know Ponderosa. Of course, you right. know the the parents would get the steaks and the kids would get the buffet. Right. And um, but that's all I ever get. It's just a salad bar. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. incredible. Oh, there's, yeah. there's tons of stuff. But anyway, the, the my kids that we got kicked yeah. out and we couldn't come back to the one in Muskegon <laughs> because my two boys were over at the ice cream thing. With their mouths underneath the ice cream <laughs> thing, so you're sucking the down the ice cream. You're the. I'm the reason. You're the yeah. guy. I'm the reason why they closed it down. Well, I was in Denmark once, and um, um, this guy, Jan, he says, "I'm going to bring you this restaurant. It's got an American salad bar." I'm like, "Okay, you know, I live in America, so I know what those are." <laughs> so we go to this American salad bar, and it's a big bowl of lettuce and three times the dressing. Oh, boy. Uh, dude. So he came here like a year later and I said, come on, we're going to Ponderosa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me show what an American salad bar looks like. <laughs> In all of Europe, there's nothing like this. Yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. know, Russ's, I think Russ's restaurant still has something like that, but, well, not now, but, you know, during this whole yeah, thing. It, it can't hang with the, with the Ponderosa. Yeah, 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 that's true. They've got, they've got it all. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why they didn't make it. This must be the, the margins aren't there when... Yeah. yeah. Well, I can say we got some people. big people in Muskegon, I guess, too, you know, because... Yeah, they, get their, I, they get their money's worth. Oh, yeah. I went, cause when we, you see somebody pull their chair up to the salad bar, you know, they, <laughs> you know they're going to get every nickel out of that place. <laughs> yeah, the sneeze guards just aren't enough. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I went there, I think, twice, maybe, when it, when it was here, and... Uh, I saw the same thing you did. I mean, it was like constantly like that. It's like, have you know, and then there you got these big people telling me, I said, did you go to the old country buffet? I mean, I'm a big guy. I'm not, you know, I'm yeah. not tiny, but it's well, not. People were running around like they're going to ask them to leave, like a bell is going to go off and say, okay, that's it. Yeah. No more, no more eating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is You're cut off. The joint. You're cut off. That's it. 
fill in plates. Like well, what you would normally use as a side, they'll fill in like a whole plate of, you know, cottage cheese. And yeah, yeah. And she's like, like, huh, that's a lot of food. <laughs> it's like, like, how many you know, plates can you carry to your table at yeah. one time? <laughs> yeah, they're like the guy that sold them. Ballot, ballots are one on your head. <laughs> the plate spinner. The only yep. time, the only time I've ever seen somebody get caught off at a buff, cut up at a buffet was that there was there's there was one here in the Weihou area was the um, I can't remember the, it's a Chinese restaurant anyway I won't say the name but uh, yeah they the guy actually he was my son too my sons are big eaters <laughs> what can I say it was my son he said you you take no more <laughs> it was you like take no more <laughs> no more I was at one in. Um... Grand Rapids once, and they had, you know, Grand Rapids is known for their cheap people, and everybody had a coupon. Yeah. And the, everybody come up like, oh, we've got a coupon. And finally, finally, the owner, he yells out, we lose our ass on these coupons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got, stop anybody. I got some friends that we go out, and she always says, she always opens her purse, and she gives each one of us a coupon <laughs> when we go out to eat. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I That's what this was. That. Every single person there had a coupon. Yeah. We lose our ass on these coupons. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like okay. in America, <laughs> that's kind of funny. We kind of took this a whole different way from you losing your job, didn't we? Yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. Well, because I may be working as a server. Yeah. Well, you can always. I'm sure you always uh, can get hired as the bathroom cleaner at the old country <laughs> yeah, buffet. The old country buffet. Yeah. I think they still have one over by the new mall, right? What's that? They still have one over by the new mall, isn't it? Is that old country buffet mm-hmm. over there or no? Uh, I don't think so. No, it's it's like. It's another buffet. Another buffet. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a big buffet. I mean, I weigh I'm not either. Pounds, so yeah. I can't. That's why I say it's a jip. They should have like you know levels of cost by weight. <laughs> yeah. You know, between 140 and 150, it's like eight bucks. And then, you know, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a good idea. Yeah. You could open or up. A, there you go. You open up a restaurant, the uh, all you can eat restaurant, but you have to you can only eat so much because if you weigh a certain amount or whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then that, then that guy from Nathan's will show up and eat 300 hot dogs and put me out of business. <laughs> that little, little skinny guy. Yeah. What is Johnny? I can't remember his name. He's got an unusual name. Well, like I say, my kids weren't fat, but but they could they could eat, man. Those boys could eat, that's for sure. So. <laughs> well, it's good to have a talent. Yeah, have, <laughs> that's right. Good to have a gift. Big, 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 big Come a long way. way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then I get Karen Carpenter, and I'm like, oh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> it comes, it comes Karen again. <laughs> Lock the doors. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I do, okay, another subject I got to talk to you about. I, th- I thought this was funny when I would, you and I just talked about. Uh, Are you, like, cleaning a garage or something? Me? <laughs> yeah. Why? Is that going the paper? The yeah, it's me. I'm sorry. Uh, I got everything written on the paper here. Uh, um. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> I've got it right by the phone, so you're picking it all up. Anyway, I'll put the paper down now. I, this is my last one. So um, we were talking the other day, and you and you said that you had had filed for the unemployment because of your job. You you do you know construction job, right? And you got card in the mail, and and you called the number, and what happened? They said denied. They said they sent me a card. Because I, I own the companies, so I, I figured, well, anybody else getting employment, I shouldn't apply. Because I'm else getting, like, thousands of dollars. So they, I apply, they say, okay, and they send me a card, like a, you know, debit card. And then I go to check how much is on the card, and it was zero. <laughs> 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 Why did you send me the card? Just taunt me. So I got the card in the mail. I'm like, whoo, I'm getting some money. I go check the card, it's zero. Yeah. That's... So I was going to say, like, you owe us, like, uh, you know, 70 bucks. Yeah, I still haven't gotten anything. So they said denied. They did not give a reason that said denied. They just said denied, and that was it. Which you know, not giving any money. Which you're out a lot of money every week because you you can't work, right? I can't run right without. There's no business to run. All all the guys are laid off, and all the you know, there's nobody working, so there's no money coming in. So luckily, I've got a still, so I'm you know (laughs) making moonshine out of my office. There you go. Yeah. yeah, there's no one there. They don't see the smoke. Well, you could, you know, you could, you could probably open up a, a Kmart slash Old Country buffet, kind of put them together. Yeah, you know? two, more, two more from yeah. You could just have yeah. uh, sub sandwiches. All you can eat sub sandwiches. <laughs> you can eat subs. If you can eat two, it's free. <laughs> With a pickle. <laughs> With a giant 
giant pickle. Yeah. And, <laughs> those, and trying to think of uh, those like, tomatoes with slime on them. They were just awesome, man. They were awesome. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I ever actually had a Kmart sub, but I remember walking in and they were always there. Yeah. And, thinking, you know, and they. You I know thinking, they, I'm hungry. I think I'll run over to Kmart and get a sub. <laughs> like who? I mean, people just buy them on the way in and eat them, and then you know, as they're walking around. And, well, the the best time to go was when. See, I was a big Kmart guy, so you know, you're talking to the right guy here. But uh, <laughs> the best time to go was when they were trying to get rid of them because they were going to go out of out of you know out of date right. or out of time or whatever. So you uh-huh. get like two for you know two bucks or something like that or something. Cool. It's like okay, yeah, man, you could, you could <laughs> it's time to get my subs. Freeze them. <laughs> the other thing that was confusing, but because there were two Kmart's in Muskegon, there was the one on on Henry Street and the one on Apple. Apple, right? yeah. yeah. The Apple one lasted quite a while. The, the lake, but yet the the parking lots were full of seagulls. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why. Even after they closed down, like a year later, the parking lot was still full of seagulls, and I never could understand why. Because you don't see them at Meyer or at Walmart or anywhere else. You're just always at Kmart. There were always seagulls in the parking lot. Yeah, there's not really any me. lakes. There's not really lakes guess, around there. No, I guess they're just uh, big uh, Kmart shoppers. <laughs> big fans. Seagulls always looking for a value. And I guess always people just like these to hang out in the Kmart parking lot and throw them, you know, French fries or that's something. Where they, uh, that's where they barfed up the tub <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <sad>. <laughs> like, a, like a penguin, they got to eat the regurgitated tubs. There's probably still hey, some left over there, yeah. Out. He's a little woozy. Swarm. <laughs> Swarm them. Yeah. So, so just a Kmart mystery. So it'll be interesting to see that now that they're building the new medical center there, whatever, there'll still be a thousand seagulls in the parking lot. <laughs> generations has carried on. Oh, that's right. They're doing that over Norton Shores, aren't they? Yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. Well, I get to watch it every, because my office is across the street. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm so Park Row, yeah. Um, so <clears throat> I can look over. The Park Row Tower. Tower, yeah. Yeah. I think it was called the Tower. The Tower, yeah. It's a, what five five stories, I think. Five yeah. stories. It is the tallest building in uh, probably in all of North Shores. Probably, yeah. And Roosevelt Park. High, yeah, so high. That's a, what our radio station says. High atop the tower. We're on like the third floor, so you know. Yeah, there's a third floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the tower is on top of the tower. It is. It is. Yeah. The, yeah. The tower is on top of the tower. Yeah. <laughs> it is up there. So. Yeah. So, you know, the building is so well designed that when you come up the stairs, the turn between the first and second floor is too sharp, and you can't get drywall or any, anything up there. So when we did the remodeling, we had to take everything with ropes and pull it up onto the roof and then walk it down. You couldn't bring it in. Okay. The front. Yeah. Yeah, so that was, uh, if you've never had guys trying to hoist drywall on a windy day up a five-story building, it's a... Uh, it's a treat. I always like <laughs> smash it. I always like the nice smell you get when you first walk into the doors there with the pints and quarts right right next to it there. And uh, I don't know if that's, that's like quite... their kitchen or their garbage disposal area or what, but you get that nice smell of grease and whatever. Yeah. It's Bef- very welcoming before you yeah before you go up the elevators. You know when so I now we've got the we've got the um, pizza oven place. Yeah. That's there now, and that is right directly underneath us. Oh, okay. So when they fire that baby up, I have to sound like um, Hoffmaster Park because of the fire. The, the first time they did it, we called the fire department. People were running around the building because they thought the place was on fire. Because <laughs> they you know, it was a wood fire, so they got this wood, you know, burning smell, just like a campfire only you're in an office building where, you know, you can encounter campfires. So, yeah, the, you know, the... Uh, Firemen all showed up and they cleared the building out and you know, said, oh, "Yeah, that's right. There's a like a pizza place right there. <laughs> shoveling shoveling wood and like to go in the Petticoat Junction. You know, like shoveling wood with the furnace. Like, hey, why don't you go talk to those guys? They might they might have some knowledge. But it's funny. Yeah, but like they it, you... put on new um, filters and stuff on there as well, so it's not quite so bad. You know, this yeah. isn't my my first time at the Park Row." Uh, <laughs> the Park Row Towers. It was uh, the first time actually was when I was uh, there with Bill Marshall when it was the Oldies FM. Back yeah. when it was Oldies, I, it was on the fifth floor, and um, it was uh, Mike Murphy, Dan Vandermine that that ran it or owned it or something. And uh, I was on the fifth floor while I was working weekends, <clears throat> and for some reason on the weekends 
they would not turn the air on. No, they don't on the weekends. Yeah, so yeah, you, so it was like, like in, it was like ninety eight degrees out. outside, and it was like a hundred and twenty <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah, and there's no no uh, no windows to open. No, you can't open any windows. And back then we could sm- we could. That's back when I smoked right. <clears throat> that terrible habit. And I would actually like blow the smoke out, and it wouldn't go anywhere. It just kind of sat there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad it was. Uh, we had the fan doing? blowing, and it would it did no good. I mean, it was just it was just hot. Move it around. Yeah. So well, like, they also they also don't turn the heat on the weekends. So if you're going to work on the weekends, it's either a thousand or thirty. So you yeah. Choice. Well, we, otherwise, it's a very nice building. Oh, it's a great nice building. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Then the, the radio station. So I top the tower. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. High atop the tower. (laughs) I see Bill Marshall walking in every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he still goes there every day. Yeah. Yeah. He's committed. He is. He should be committed. He should have been committed a long time ago. Yeah, he's got the voice. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's got the pipes. Um, Got the pipes. What about uh, what about the norm for you right now? Is it is it anything anything you can give us as far as examples for you know dealing with the new norm? <laughs> yeah, every time I walk into Cheers, they yell out "New Norm." Yeah, so I say, "No, no, I'm just <laughs> so the old norm sitting over there. I'm not the I'm not the new norm." Yeah, you're not the um, norm. No, I you know I've, I've certainly got a lot of stuff done around the house because yeah. I just can't you know I don't like just sitting around. So right. I've been um, building a lot of stuff positions onto the. You know, well, that's true. You are in construction. Just because you uh, just because you, yeah. just because you really hire people it. doesn't mean you can't <laughs> do it, right? Right, but I really can't. A lot of the stuff is. <laughs> yeah, I won't hire me to do the work. Put it oh, that way. Geez. But but it's all you know. It's all done. It all looks good, but just um, the way I go about it might not be the way that people do. But yeah, that's been that's all that's really been keeping me busy. Is, yes. Well, I've Trying got some. Do, I got some painting projects. Any good at painting? <laughs> no. I can paint portraits, but I can't uh, paint walls. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, in fact, I did a lot of that. I painted my garage. I painted the ups. I've got like three decks, and I painted around the decks, and it's, uh, it's nonstop. Yeah, here at the you know stage. Yeah, I got to paint my trim, so I got to get out there and do that. But you know, it's yeah. it's kind of hard to to get to Rather get motivated. Die anyway. That's yeah. it. It's the motivation. <clears throat> at least the right. weather could be decent. You know, it's. Not only locked down, which are locked down, it's like rainy and 42 every freaking day. It's yeah, nice. it was nice yesterday. Yesterday was a nice day. Yeah. We had... It's so nice. My kid rode his bike to Grand Rapids. Oh, yeah? It's 14. Something I've never done. Him and his friend decided they were just going to ride their bike to Grand Rapids. Hmm. Like, that's pretty far. <laughs> yeah. I get winded driving to Grand Rapids. <laughs> 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 I got to stop in Coopersville and take a breath. He's a kid. He's a kid. Back when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, we used to ride our bikes everywhere, and I lived in the city. I, I lived in the city, man. You did, you, were, you had to be careful well, was, when you lived in the city, riding your bike. Was, of course, Grand crazy. Rapids isn't exactly not city, but anyway. No, they rode a break you know, from Grand Haven to right downtown Grand Rapids. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, they had plenty of busy busy uh, streets, that's for sure. Yeah. He calls me, and all I hear is like, vroom, 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 vroom. I'm like, you <laughs> Had a bike path, he was kinda. Yeah. <laughs> kinda. Because I don't have any spare kids, you know. Back when I was a kid, you had you know, yeah, six like or seven. Kids. Yeah, yeah. You had Twelve. So they had <laughs> they had backups. I got no backup. I got one kid. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Right, fully invested. <laughs> I had no spares. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, not not that our parents were concerned with us, but I do remember Mark Crandall's mom. He asked her for a pack of matches. She threw it to him and said, like, if you blow your fingers off, don't come crying to me. I'm like, oh, there you go. There's some concern. All they care is, you know, we left. We, they didn't care what. Mom, we're going to go uh, set some bear traps near the nuclear power plant. Okay. Be back by five. I had no idea. What, no idea what we were doing. Yeah, I remember that. I remember those days. I was home for dinner. But my but my mom, she for some reason, when she yelled my name, you know, the whole neighborhood heard it and knew it was time right. for me to go home. But... And, you know, it didn't matter where we were at. I could hear her, you know. Yeah, at what point did that stop? Yeah. Because yeah. my parents did the same thing. They'd stick out the door and yell out, you know, Matt, Tracy. Yeah. And, and you knew that the clock was ticking. Yeah, yeah. And you better be getting home. Or if you went over to your friend's house, you just went over and yelled their name in a sing-songy voice. Mark, <laughs> Oscar. 
<laughs> and then you come out, what you doing? Nothing, what you doing? Nothing. Let's go do something. <laughs> so you come out and you go do nothing together, and you go pick up four five more friends and go blow something up. Yeah. Eventually, somebody would come up with some hair brain scheme, and we would go do that. Well, I said, you know, you're talking about riding the bikes. I remember when I was a kid, we uh, rode our bikes from uh, Mount Clemens to um, Ann Arbor. And, wow. Yeah, and then we took we took the ferry across to Canada <laughs> to get That's fireworks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get fireworks, yeah, kind of, kind of like a wagon behind you. Not Ann Arbor, but uh, Elginac. I'm sorry, Elginac, not Ann Arbor. Well, to Elginac, and then we took the ferry across to go to, uh, like, say, Canada, and then we rode our bikes over there to for miles to find some uh, fireworks to bring back. And they see you couldn't do that now, but yeah, no. so we could blow stuff up. Yeah, I remember riding my bike to Muskegon Heights to buy beer. Yeah, well, yeah. You mean like 14? <laughs> but I looked 12. Yeah. So, so anyway, did you did you, did you you get the fireworks? Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. got them back through customs. And then we got kicked, we got, no, we we, we we just went from there to, and went back on the ferry and went back over. They didn't check us or anything back then. Oh. I mean, we're talking 70s, man. That was, they didn't Modern really care back then. Yeah. Terrorists. That's but yeah. <laughs> well, it was because I got I was the I was oldest one. Kids. I was the oldest one of the kids that were we were like four of us I think. And at night, of course, we were in a campground over in uh, in um, um, at the park. And one of the one of the guys decided he was going to go let off some of the fireworks by somebody's tent. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, we we were never allowed back over at that. That place, Man. but you know, you've been kicked out of some good spots. I know, right? I haven't kicked out of some good ones. Ponderosa. Yeah. yeah, 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 Ponderosa. Yeah, <laughs> never been kicked Kmart. out of Kmart's. Well, no, I take that back. I have. I don't think he can. I know. I think I did get kicked out of Kmart's when I was about 14, but we won't go into that story. That doesn't even seem possible. <laughs> it was a dark time. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a fashion violation. I know that. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't a fashion violation. That was. <laughs> yeah, these kids that aren't there missing nowadays. I know. We had some fun. Ride your bikes. No plan. No, no seatbelts. Yeah. No seatbelts. We saw, I mean, the bike crashes. Because once the last time you saw a kid riding on the handlebars. I haven't seen it in forever. 40 years. Yeah. Yeah, I remember two distinct crashes. One with Tim Bowman sitting on Mike Moriquaz's handlebars, and he's as the tire spinning, he's using his heel to play a little song on the spokes. Like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> so he got his heel in a little too far, and uh, mayhem ensued. Yeah, they just went. Yeah, I can they imagine. went down a pile, face first, <laughs> off the bike, out of cement. Yeah. There's no, because you don't know what's coming. It's like someone just tripped you. Well, in, in the, you know, he's, doing a, he's doing a pavement inspection. In the in the seventies, we used to have races with the bikes, and then one, one kid had a little, one of these little spider bikes, you know, and uh, the other kid had a <laughs> had a bike, but he had the homemade chopper forks on it. Right, he put the forks on from another bike, but he didn't Made like for death. Yeah, yeah, didn't didn't like put bolts on them or weld them or anything. <laughs> he just stuck them up there. So he's racing this guy, and these one of the forks came off. Well, you know what happened after that? That yeah. was oh, yeah. the whole body was a. Uh, uh, <laughs> had to be bandaged on one side, but anyway. It had a hole, one of those casts with just a hole for the face. Yeah. <laughs> just, well, because um, a guy named Dave uh, had the, had the um, stingray. Yeah, he stingray. Was doing wheelie, yeah. And he's doing the wheelies, you know, showing off the girls doing the wheelies, and he's yeah. got the wheelie and the front tire pops off. So he goes slamming down on the forks and, you know, had those handlebars. Yeah. The, so whatever the whatever those are called. Yeah. Well, they wedged around his rib cage. He oh, went down with such force, and he couldn't get him off. Oh, jeez. So he had to walk all the way home with all the girls watching with the bike, you know, attached, attached to, to his him. body. <laughs> so it's like half bent over and doing this little, like, you know, six-inch steps to try to get home and get the jaws of life to take his hand up around his rib cage. Well, did he have, like, the, the sissy bar on the back, too, of the, of the banana yeah, seat? Oh, he had the the whole, yeah, he had the whole thing going. Banana oh, yeah. sissy bar. Yeah. yeah. What yeah, the name of the cool I can't think of the name of those handlebars now. It, it slips my mind. I don't I know. know why. Yeah. They have a name. Too, yeah, I know they do. It's too many years, I guess. But uh, yeah, well, they called eighth hangers on motorcycles. But I don't know what they were called then. But yeah, yeah, they had a, yeah, it wasn't that. They had a banana seat, 
had the sissy bar. Oh yeah, it's banana seeds. Had, yeah, the, I those. had the slicks, the slicks on the back. Oh, slicks on the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah Good old stuff. Fire, old duck tail fender. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, if you had one of those, because bikes are bikes are just a car. There's just no personality left in them yeah, anymore. Yeah. No, they're just all generic. Yeah, they're, like, they're five speeds, and you thought they were the fastest things on, on wheels, too, back then. <sighs> yep. My Schwinn Continental, my yellow Schwinn Continental. Oh, yellow? You had a yellow? I'm, I did, too. One of my great moments in life was picking that bike up. $135, yeah. which is like, what, 8000 now? Yeah, yeah. But 135 bucks. Had I, I got the square headlight with a generator. Yeah, you know? me too. Square headlight in the front, the uh, rack in the back, the... Rat traps and the pedals, that thing was loaded. Oh, yeah. And that was, that was freedom. When I got that bike, it was like one of the great moments. Because I, I went and paid on it every week because I had a paper route. And it was there. So every week I got to go in and smell the bike shop and give the guy, you know, $10. God, you're you're talking then, to my life, man. I did the same then, thing. But anyway, then go, go look at the bike. I could see it. Like, there it is. Yeah. Just waiting for me to make that last payment. I made the last payment and walked over that bike. That was like the greatest. And I rode the wheels off that thing. Did it have the, the release wheels on it, too, on the front? And Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, it, I got and everybody the, had them. I mean, I can look back now. I can tell you 10 friends and tell you exactly what kind of bike they had and what color it was. Because it was a... Uh, it was a status symbol. Yeah, but that, that's no lie, though. I, I I did the same thing. I had a paper route for the Detroit News, and I bought myself a Schwinn Continental. It was yellow. Had the release yeah. had the release wheel in the front, and it had all Step the... Step up from the varsity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from the varsity. Yeah. Exactly. So when you wrote by people's varsity, you're like, the varsity? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I had this thing for less than a year on my porch. I lived in the Detroit area there. So anyway, I had it for less than a year, and somebody stole it. Oh, and so me. Yeah, so with my with the insurance money? money that my parents got from it, I was able to get a, a bike at Prees. That <laughs> the problem with this bike was, which was cheap was like an eighty dollar bike or something like that. Yeah, huffy. you know, yeah, right. like kind of like a huffy, yeah. But it had a smaller uh, sprocket on it than any of the other regular bikes, even the Varsities. So wow. I'm like huffing and puffing along, trying to keep up right. with these guys because you know I got this little dinky sport. Because the gear ratio, wasn't yeah, the there. gear ratio wasn't right. So, yeah. but anyway, hey, that's why you got those huge thighs. Yeah, it's been it's been fun reminiscing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everybody else thinks the same. Uh, yeah. We're gonna you probably yeah. get at least it's, 72 people now that will. Okay, I'm gonna make a push to get 72 people. 72, yeah. Yeah, because I listened to it probably 55 times. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's kind of kind of false numbers like it's like the covid numbers are kind of false yeah kind of false yeah yeah well hopefully this time the uh the audio looks better because the last time there's actual yeah, you know, this, information this is more like just um, having fun yeah just having fun yeah like the uh yeah the last time i don't know what happened because you and i both it sounded fine to me it sounded fine to you but when it came back it just didn't sound too good so anyway i guess once it passed through those fbi yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah. My house. Yeah. Tracy <laughs> Lorenz talking on the radio. We better check this yeah. out. Code blue, code blue. <laughs> He's talking about k <laughs> in the van, putting the uh, putting headphones on and running dials. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> well, sir, thank you for taking some time out of your day. Appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you, Oscar. Anytime. And once you get back in the studio... Uh, let me know when we can do it with a real microphone. Yeah, and I think I think we could have. Uh, I think you might be a regular talking tunes crew if you want to be too. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, of course, I, you I, know, I, like I, I say, no money yet, time. but <laughs> yeah, I got some free time. Yeah, up. you got free time. Oh, believe me, once I get on the advertisement, we pouring in. Yeah, there they'll, you go. They'll be it'll be like printing money. Well, you know, I I heard. I don't know if it's true yet because I mean we're kind of you know distant from everybody, but I heard now since uh, Britta was been on the talking tunes show. She's got a, a full-time gig now, so there you go. You might get a full-time radio gig out of it instead of writing. Oh, I think what would you do? Easier. Huh? It's a lot, it'd be a lot easier doing that than writing. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it is. I talk better than I type. <laughs> yeah. I better talk to Franklin, because Franklin's, Franklin's asked me a couple times to do a show. Yeah. Um, and I just never did. So, yeah, maybe that'll be the... Maybe that'll be the next thing. Yeah. He'll listen uh, to this one and say, well, maybe I was wrong. Yeah. Very cool. (laughs) Review. See this contract? Rip. Yeah. Right in my face. Tear it up. Yeah. Because I wrote, uh, that's another paper, Franklin's paper, the Muskegon, what was it called? Muskegon Times? Muskegon? Yeah, I'm I'm trying to remember myself. Um, Anyway, yeah, that's another one I got fired from. 
Oh, you got fired that from that one too? <laughs> yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, that was a short-lived gig there. But. Well, you know, you should be, you should fit right into radio because I've been fired from radio probably almost as many times as you've been fired in writing. So there you go. Yeah, but there's a reason to fire. You know, my 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 work was, was gold, gold, Jerry. <laughs> <Cherry. laughs> yeah, well, yeah, especially when you had seventy-one, you know, viewership. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a groundswell. Oh, it's gotta be. It's, they try to look and see the thirty minutes and go, "I'm gonna waste minutes with my wife." And this is, you gotta, you gotta cut it down. You gotta edit it down to like three minutes. Yeah. And then, then I'll, then I'll get more listeners. But anyway, um, I hate to overstay my time, so I gotta hey. walk my dog or something. Or something, yeah. Or build something. <sighs> I should build something. Of course. Uh, right now, I'm building a uh, hammock thing because all the kids have hammocks now. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a hammock thing I'm building you, in the backyard. You should build me a new Schwinn Continental. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can still ride it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you look back, they, they weighed like 49 pounds. Yeah, they were heavy. I mean, they, later yeah, they, they were, came up with the real lightweight bikes. Now, Well, now, you know, they got the ones yeah. you can lift up with your finger, but... Right. Yeah. Yeah, 49 pounds. Because I, I went on eBay a few years ago and bought a couple. And they, were, they were like 25 bucks. A, yeah, well, I've seen him. At, I, I've seen him over at Goodwill too, sitting out there. I yeah. thought about buying it again. I think I did buy one. I don't know why I did with it, but I think I bought one and fixed it up. And I think I sold it or something. But yeah, it was just just because of the reason that I had one before and I bought it for like fifteen dollars yeah. at Goodwill. Right, it was for the nostalgia because back then that was it. It was like you were like in a motorcycle getting cut their schwinn. Yeah, and everybody had you know baby blue or yellow or orange or brown. Yeah. Yeah, orange, like orange, bar, orange was more of the varsity, the varsity right. bike. Yeah, 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 that was the lower, the lower end. <laughs> and super sports, I think super sports are not a orange one of those. Yeah. I thought too. Yeah, no, the the bike I got when the when the Schwinn got stolen though was uh, was gray. It just it had no pizzazz, uh, had nothing. You know, uh, I just felt yeah. bad. And you you don't even know what a Prius is. A Prius is even lower than a Kmart. So there you go. Wow. I know. It had Tires. Not even a huffy, you know. Not even a huffy. Yeah, so, I dreamed of a huffy. Yeah, so I was riding along and everybody's like laughing at me, but you know, I had, before I was, people were looking at me going, "Man, he's got a Schwinn Continental," but then it was got like, pff, "Yeah, he just, just got a ripping off you." He's got a something low, less than a huffy. Yeah, less than uh, huffy. Anyway, yeah. so like life, life, you way, know, life. Way to end on a high point, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> way to end on the up note. Up on the up note, yeah. <laughs> hey, I made yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. It, right. it, well, well, it probably made me stronger for because I had to put pedal just that much faster to keep up with everybody. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, put in this backpack full of concrete. Oh, I got to oh, backpacks. <laughs> I got to tell you a story real quick. <laughs> okay. We were going. We were going to Algonac State Park again, and uh, this is the time that we actually got kicked out. But anyway, we were on the way there. And it was so busy on the roads that we decided we were going to go on the sidewalks. Well, there was four of us, the the guy in the front, and there was another guy after him, and then there was a guy in front of me, and then I was in the, I was in the tail. And so anyway, the guy, <laughs> he's got his backpack on, and he had the two tent poles sticking up out of the back of the backpack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear the, yeah, you're so... <laughs> And I've got I've got a basket on mine because I was a paper boy. I had a basket on mine. It was full of you know full of beans and soup and everything else you know because we put brought canned food to go to the camping with. But anyway, um, so I'm like wobbling around in the back. But anyway, uh, so anyway, you hear in the front row, uh, low branch, low branch, and then you hear uh. ah. <laughs> 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 I just slammed my brakes on because the guy flew off the bike. The poles went right into the tree oh, branch. Yeah. You and, look like when he jumped off like a paratrooper. Yeah, yeah, like, pretty much. On a, on a static line, often you're just gone. Yeah. And your bike keeps going. <laughs> and that's, wow. Anyway, so when we got to the place, we realized that I had all these canned goods for us to eat, and we were ready to eat. And we realized we forgot a can opener. But anyway, you know, it was just one of those things. It was a, it was a great, it was a great time. Great time to be a kid. It was. You could improvise. <laughs> That's right. We did, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I could figure out how to get food out of the can. If I, yeah, yeah. If I we we figured it out. You well, can use the, the shards of the guy's um, severed femur. Yeah. Well, we all had those really fancy knives. Remember those knives? 
You know, it had like when 20 it, things on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You carry it in your pocket and your pants would fall down. It was great. Yeah. yeah. A spoon. Because <laughs> you never know. Spoon and a corkscrew, because you never know when uh, you're going to have cereal and wine out in the campsite. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know, Chardonnay with my Cheerios. <laughs> Oh well, here I got this. I got this tool that can handle both of those. Uh, both of those needs. Yeah, that's there right. That's right. <laughs> that's covered. Just uh, one last thing. Did the tent smell like mildew? Oh, always did. Yeah, and then of course it, it rained the whole the weekend too. Yeah. Yeah, it came out of the box smelling like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, people worried about Corona. You could sleep in a '70s tent. Uh, you got no fears, Corona. Yeah. And if you touch it, the water will come through. Yeah, because every one of them. Every one of them smelled like mildew. Yeah. Mildew. Yeah, well, you a lot of times, though, when we, when we got older, though, when we drank, then we'd go to the campgrounds, and the, t- the tents never got put up. We slept on the cars because we never made it to the tents. But anyway, that's another story. Maybe we'll talk another about that story. some other next, time. Next phone call. Camping <laughs> stories with Oscar and Tracy. That's right. Yeah. I've got a couple. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm sure you do. All right. <laughs> okay, thanks, Oscar. Yeah, take bye. care. Bye. Yep, bye.